Good, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, it is the 16th of April. I received my Nick Crate on the 15th of April. I'm so glad, so glad that they managed to figure out the kinks on their postage because I really, really hated getting my Nick Crate so much further away than everybody else. So this is the April Nick Crate, so I'm getting it in the middle of the month, which makes me so excited. The colour choices this month are based on insects. So the potential for awesomeness is pretty big. Okay, so let's do the flip out. You guys get to see which colour range I got before me. Is it green or is it red? Which one is it? It is red! Yay! Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty red. So this colourway is Ladybird or Ladybug. What are they calling it? Ladybug. The other option was a really, really nice green, and they called that one Leaf Eater. So this is the Audine Wools, which is their house brand, colorway Ladybug, 85% Merino, 15% Cashmere, ooh, DK weight, 302 yards or 276 meters, 100 grams, suggested needle size 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter, hand wash only, lay flat to air dry. Um, and then the colored lot that's so cool. Okay, so let's have a look at the book this month. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at the paper this month. Oh, that's such a good paper. Good choices. Good choices. Oh, okay. Catalog. <clears throat> Those were the color choices for the general knit crate box. Pretty cool, ladybug or leaf eater. I actually haven't seen a caterpillar like that before. They're pretty cool. Uh, shield bug, I think it is, was a sock crate. The patterns, uh, chrysalis by Liliana Bruce Kimenko. Sorry, sweetie, can't pronounce anything. Hopefully that is in. Focus. Then we have. Mm, Canopy by Destiny Maya. We have the soft pattern Undergrass by Stephanie Voyer. Okay. And then they've got the information on the featured designers. So the way they've done things now, you have three crates that you can purchase. So you've got your quarterly Malabrigo, you have your regular knit crate, and you have your sock crate. They've got rid of the artisan ones altogether. Generally, this is because the dyers found it really, really, really hard to keep up with demand. And if they're hand dyeing that many skeins of yarn, I can totally understand it. So what they do now is they do a pop-up shop each month for the yarns that would have appeared in the uh, in the artisan boxes whether they be sock or regular artisan knit crates and I think it ends up giving a wider range of yarns available because the dyers are able to give a selection rather than just one particular type of yarn. Blush Fibre Company is the artisan one this time around. Their coloured selections are pretty damn cool. Uh, you can go to their YouTube channel which is linked in the description bar below to see a sneak peek well it's not really sneaky anymore because the pop-up shop has been up for a little while and you can see those yarns if you are a knit crate member you get to enter the member central area and get these yarns just a little bit cheaper than the public and then when they have their double down each month those yarns will become cheaper again for members so it's pretty damn cool Knit Crate is amazing with their customer service. I had a bit of an issue when they transitioned from the artisan boxes to the regular boxes. It didn't continue my subscription over and I really wanted to get some of the Lantana yarn that I got in February's box, I think it was, and I couldn't. And happenings, 
I figured out what the problem was. I let them know what the problem was. They fixed, well, I fixed it myself, but they were acknowledging that, yes, that is exactly what had happened. They got back to me as quickly as they could. They were respectful. They were wonderful. They did their utmost to fix the problem, and they gave me the option to fix the other option that happened, which was it didn't give me a March box. It some for some reason, like if you joined up just regularly in March, you got the March box. You didn't have to wait till April, but for some reason it sort of skipped over March, which I was kind of okay with because the uh, the yarn in the March box didn't really tickle my fancy, so I was kind of okay with it. Um, so yeah. anyway great work on customer service knit crate uh, there will be a link in the description down below if you wanted to join knit crate uh, you get ten dollars off and I get ten dollars worth of kickback so it's not a sponsored video but it is going to be fabulous if you want to start your knit crate subscription you too can get the option of leaf eater or ladybug or shield bug if you want the sock membership crate by using the link below or like you can do that until they sell out in April or you could hold over and next month's theme is farmer's market. Do you want to see the color ranges? I don't quite know how I feel about this so I'm hoping they're going to have a purple and I really 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 want the purple because the greens and the like meh, colors are a bit neat. I don't want pink and I don't want orange and I don't want green. I mean, the leaf eater green was nice, but no. Okay, so ready? Look at those color selections. Aren't they amazing? They're phenomenal. Hopefully they're in focus. I can't tell right now. Okay, anyway, this has been my Knit Crate unboxing for April. I hope you're all having a wonderful month. I'm possibly going to shoot another video today showing some goodies that I have recently acquired in the yarn realm. I went to a craft show over the weekend just gone and I was extraordinarily restrained, or at least I think I was. Some people may not agree, but I was extremely restrained. So keep an eye out for that one. Hopefully I'll get it shot and edited today and it will go up within the week, hopefully. Have a fantastic day. Have a great month. Do something beautiful. And happy yarning. Bye.